Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. We're a channel that's geared toward the new man and woman who's never been to the Philippines, who has an interest in coming here for slow vacation or to rejuvenate. My 11 years being affiliated with the Philippines doesn't make me an expert, but it does give me a unique perspective, and I like to share that with the new man and woman, or anyone really, if it can benefit you, help to make your trip more enjoyable and by all means safer. I'm boots on the ground here, I'm in the center of all of this, and it's for your benefit. I'm not along the edges like a lot of these other vloggers talking about the Philippines, living in one of these fancy towers in Manila or Cebu. I live among the locals. I'm always going to give you the nitty gritty. That's just exactly what I'm seeing, what I'm living, and what I'm experiencing. I'm never going to sugarcoat that. And it's not going to start today. I just thought that I'd revisit a subject that keeps coming up over and over and over. Guys, we need a support group. We need to level the playing field when it comes to dating and marrying the Filipino. I'm not bashing or anything. So enjoy the video. I hope you learned something. Thank you. Good morning uh, to my 88.1% male viewership. I want you to come real close to this, to your phone, to your screen, because I'm only going to say this one time. The visa is the game. You hold the game in your hand. So you should be making all the rules. When I do those videos on, eh, don't bring your Filipino wife uh, home. That's not literally what I mean. What I'm trying to do is level the playing field. If fair exchange is no robbery, then why do we continue to be robbed and then be complicit in our robbery. She benefits a whole lot more with the game being the way that it is now. I just want a fair playing field. I just want a fair chance. I didn't have a fair chance. So I want to give the new man coming behind me a fair chance. Hell, with everything you're bringing to the table, the Filipina should be buying your ticket over here. Yeah. See, that visa that we give away so easily as Americans because we take it for granted, it's very, very valuable everywhere else. It's not something you should just be giving away as easy as we give it away. The mistake I made was I married my mistress and I gave away my bargaining chip. See, as long as I had that bargaining chip, that visa, she didn't care who I fooled with. But the minute I gave her that visa, now my bargaining chipped and went out the window. I have no negotiating. Uh, I have nothing to negotiate with now. Okay? Everything's in her corner now. Some genius then flipped it around and got us running halfway around the world chasing women, man. They should be chasing us. Let's just level the playing field, guys. That's all I'm saying. I'm not bashing any Filipinas. I would never get in the way of some young deserving Filipina, getting a new life, getting a visa, getting out of this place. Man, I wouldn't do it. I'm over here with them. I see how hard it is to struggle. But let's be real. They've got a support group here. They've got a support group there, and it's very, very powerful. We don't have a support group as men. We always try to do it ourselves. Guys, I feel like the salmon cow of the Philippines. No matter how many times I tell you that this is scripted, you're not going to believe me. See, I feel like a judge on American Idol. I have to sit through episode after episode after episode pretending like I don't know the outcome. When I know the outcome, the rules as they are now, she's going to win. She's the winner. She's the American Idol, see? But we make it easy. We give that visa away so easy for a penny. Make them earn it. I ain't talking about being nasty. I ain't talking about being mean. Make sure they're deserving. Let her court you. You got all the cards in your hands. And stop falling in love with these women online. You can't do it. Spend as much time as you can in person with the lady. I don't care how many trips you got to take. You got the game in your hand. It's the visa. She's going to be as, as um, patient as possible as long as she knows that your intentions are good. You don't have to run and hurry up and give her that visa, man. It never works out good when you do that. I'm just trying to create a support group for men. 
We need that. We don't have it, guys. That, it within itself, gives them the advantage. They know more about you than you could ever dream about knowing about them. Most of us never even heard of a Filipina till people started talking about the Philippines and stuff. They've been knowing about Americans. They've been knowing about what American men can do for them. So stop with all of that, oh, he's hating, oh, he's bashing, oh, he's bitter. No, I'm not. I made a mistake. I married my mistress, guys, and I made a two mistakes. I gave her the bargaining chip. See, when you come over here and you fall in love, man, it clouds your negotiating skills, guys. That visa is very, very valuable. And I'm not going to tell you anymore. I'm not even going to discuss this Filipino foreigner relationship ever again on my channel. So if you're going to get it, you're going to get it now. She should be buying your ticket over here with everything you're bringing to the table. You're bringing a visa. You're bringing a new life. You're bringing it all. You got it all in your hands. So why are you running around like a chicken with your head cut off? Because you fall in love online. You can't do it. It's, this game is scripted over here. And she's the winner already. Until we find a way to level the playing field. And that's all I'm trying to do. Let's get a support group. Let's talk. Let's educate each other about this Filipina that we so crazy about. That we know so little about. That's all I'm saying. I'm not bashing anybody, man. I love these people. They love me. I, you know, there's no better place I'd rather be. But I'm telling you something, man. We got to take them shells off our ass, man. You know, we're giving away that visa, this valuable, valuable commodity that people literally die and give their, put their lives on the line for. We give it away for a penny. It's time to stop that. It's time to level the playing field, guys. You got the visa, which is the game. So make the rules. Make her earn it. Make sure she deserves it. Okay, because I'm not going to talk about it no more. Ever, ever again. That's not what my channel's about. I try to do that to educate you. You're at a disadvantage. She's running circles around uh, you. Okay? So, I appreciate it, but don't fall in love, man. The minute you fall in love, you, you lost anyway. Test her. Give her some tests. Send her some money over here and say, hey, hold this money for me so when I get there. And when you get here, if she don't, she don't have the money but she's, she got a bunch of excuses, then you go on and, and, and bounce. See? Send her th two, three hundred dollars, man. If, if that's all you got to lose, it's worth it. And say, hey, hold this till I get there. And then when you get here, she got all kind of excuses. Another thing you can do, let her get her own uh, way to the airport or to Manila or somewhere else like that. Even if she has to borrow the money, guys, look. You're doing all the work. She's testing you and you're not testing her. She's testing you. Oh, does he really like me? Is he going to buy his ticket? Is he going to fly 18 hours over here? Is he going to give the visa? It's all about what you, you have to do. Nothing what she has to do, guys. I just want you to think about that. She should be buying your ticket here. Okay? Test her. Test, test, test. You're not going to go to a car lot, buy a brand new car. You, you need to drive it. Look up under the hood. Kick the tires a little bit. We don't even do that. We sign everything over. Man, I've seen guys come over here, man, on that initial two weeks and marry the woman immediately. Don't do that ever again. Okay? Give it some time. They don't fall in love overnight. We do. And once you fall in love, your negotiating skills have been thrown out the window. You have no more negotiating skills. They're clouded. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. I just wanted to get this off my chest, man, because I make those videos for you guys, not for me, man. I'm living my best life. You want to see something? Look at that. That's what I'm dealing with, man woman to do anything for me I don't have to do this stuff all right I'm doing it for you let's level the playing field let's talk amongst each other hey do this do that should I do this should I do that quit trying to do it all by yourself because she's not doing it all by herself she's got a full support group here and there you don't have a chance it's scripted she's the winner in America's getting late 
where you let your head hit the pillow, please help somebody. If you don't want them late grocery runs, you see somebody in the street, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. If in the Philippines, it's still early. We got the whole rest of the day to find somebody to help. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people, we help ourselves. Thanks again. Stay safe, stay COVID free, and I'll see you next time.